trees are cracking and branches breaking, mm. trees falling, yeah. something beautiful about it. Stroking each other, it must be quite nice, maybe therapeutic for them. The occasional sunshine comes through. So calm, so peaceful, so beautiful light behind me coming through the trees. You can hear the silence. We go out and sing and dance. These trees come to life and start singing and dancing too. It's incredible, beautiful. Wow. I can feel I'm getting charged up with energy as well. For me to really connect with nature, I'm going to have to switch the camera off. Welcome on board. This is Narrowboat Isness. This is my home. This is where I live. I've been living here on the canal for about four years and I've had some wonderful experiences and all my wonderful experiences I share on the internet, on YouTube with you. And today, such a beautiful day, I'm gonna take a little stroll up into some beautiful forest at the back of them hills there. And it's a pine forest. So that beautiful smell of pine and, um, and tranquility and peace. And, it's a place where I've been many times before. I've moored here quite a few times and uh, I love to go up there and connect with nature. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you up there in the forest. I love getting off the narrowboat and taking a walk into woodland like this. This is wonderful. So calm, so peaceful, so still. You can hear the silence. Just look at that beautiful light behind me coming through the trees. And there's a bit of a mist as well. So beautiful. And the sunlight's showing up all the cobwebs between the trees. As more sunlight comes into the wood, it comes alive in a way. I've always loved the wildness of nature. From a very young child, the fascination of thunderstorms and lightning and the wind howling. 
and I've never really been scared of it, never been frightened of it. Many people are frightened of storms. For me, I can be out in a storm and there is no fear, you know, that fear turns into something more beautiful. But this stillness is temporary, everything changes. And these trees at the moment seem to be quite rigid. It's like they're asleep, actually. It's like the trees are sleeping. But this place comes to life when Mother Nature goes to work. Nature's breath, when that wind blows. These trees wake up. And like we go out and sing and dance, these trees come to life and start singing and dancing too. out in the middle of a storm into the woodland you know when trees are cracking and branches breaking trees falling down something that normally people would fear for me I, I see and feel beauty coming from it you know there's something beautiful about it I just lie down here and tune into that, that sound of that wind and the branches touching each other, different trees, and the creaking, the cracking sounds of the branches. Stroking each other, it must be quite nice, maybe therapeutic for them. This all heightens my senses, you know. My ears are working over time. My nose is smelling the air, the pine. And I'm watching the trees sway and dance. It's beautiful. Passing clouds. The occasional sunshine comes through. But for me to really connect with nature, I'm going to have to switch the camera off and the recorder off and just lie here and take it all in instead of talking.
Now this is what I call connecting with nature in the middle of the night in a storm. quite calm down here where I am, but up there in the treetops, they're just moving around, swaying backwards and forwards. It's incredible. Wow. This is absolutely amazing, out here in the dark of night, watching the trees sway backwards and forwards, and that wind sounding like a, an ocean, a roaring ocean of energy. And then trees are riding the waves, surfing. I can feel I'm getting charged up with energy as well. But look at them trees dancing. Just look. <laughs> it's incredible, beautiful. Wow. Fear is a, a destroyer of happiness. It takes us away from what we're really truly about. This mind of ours can get pulled very easily into this fear situation where it just wants to think about all the possibilities of what could go wrong Fear will always be around, it will always be there and it will always be put out there to make us feel bad and, and separated from ourselves and, and from others too. It creates division when something is, a story is put out and we all start thinking, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I could catch this, I could, this could happen to me. If I was the Prime Minister, I'd be spreading love and, and, and taking away fear and anxiety from people. That's what I'd be doing. You need to be caring, understanding, and not rushing into things as well. Rushing, as I, I've said in my last vlog, creates mistakes. You need time like I do to come out and, and just be in that silence and just contemplate and good things will come to you, you know, good decisions. But we can't always have it perfectly right, you know, things do go wrong. That's life, that's life. You can never forecast the weather perfectly, you know. Mother nature can change just like that. She just gets on with it. Like we should do in, in life. Just get on with it, you know. So the next time you're in fear, Remember, it's only temporary. Be grounded, ride the storm out, like these trees do. We go through bad patches, 
but we can come out the other side. And we could come out the other side feeling better. Challenge fear. Take fear on. Turn fear into love. There you go. What do you choose, love or fear? It's getting cold. I'm gonna head back to the boat now and get a nice cup of coffee, warm up in front of that fire. Thank you for joining me on Narrowboat Isness. I hope you've enjoyed this experience. And uh, like I say, you know, life is a challenge, but you can get through it. It's not impossible. I'll see you back on board Narrowboat Isness very soon. Thank you.